Hey, JC from JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. That's 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 4361-7419-531-6097. We were, uh, doing, uh, did a couple different videos on Adventure Comics with Supergirl and ran out of time on that, uh, before I could, before I could finish, finish what I was, uh, we're gonna, I was gonna talk about the Supergirl series itself from DC Comics. This came out in November of 1972. Uh, this great cover there. Again, look at the way the reds and the blues pop off that. It just pops all right off of there. But these covers were great. Supergirl just always just, you know, just got to love, uh, love the artist. Just, they just made her just very, very beautiful. She had a very strong character, a good role model. But we'll open up this opening page, a splash page here. It's written by Carrie Bates, art by Art Staff, and Vinnie Coletta. But you see Supergirl, she's all happy. She quit her job. And she's getting ready to go to school. She's flying overhead. Just look at that. Just looking just magnificent. And she's flying over the city. And you see her. She's using her telescopic vision to see if she got a card from college. Yeah, Van Dyer. Van, Van Dyer University has accepted her. Linda Davers for a drama course. She puts all of her everything together so she can move out and move in. It. That's. She's leaving now uh, San Francisco, but she flies off to her um, her new school, the Delta Zan House. Puts herself in, and it just looks really, really. She's just very happy to be there. Looking at the sculpture, unearthly metal, Wanda Five. That's the name. Lock and key. She has to move quickly, and it's just the the house mother, Auntie Rose. She heads off to the drama, and there's a play rehearsal. Finds out the individual actually is dead. So a mystery. Already she's there, and there's a mystery. Uh, these ads. I think this was was this uh, this was Kenner Chippeway. I had this as a kid, where you would you sculpt these statues. You just chip it away, and then you would paint it. There was a few of these I had as a kid. And she goes off, becomes Supergirl, returns to her outfit, flies off, talking to the Dean, and then she like uses her super uh, super speed to to sneak through and see who she's looking for. There's a cop that's on his way. Asks if he needs help. And he's glad to get help from, from her. Got somebody in their Camaro. And she's uh she's not treating that, that classic car right. Of course that was not a classic car back then. Gets him out. She can tell that he's uh he's telling the truth. There's her roommate, Wanda. Seems that she can pick up. Uh, she has ESP. There she is again. Is she overacting? Man, that's like a horror film. Got a backup story. Oh, here's uh, some more of the the fashions that was uh, the fans sent in. Again, DC uh, love to have the fans in and uh, outfits for Supergirl. Different hairstyles for Linda. And what a thrill to see your artwork published in a comic book. <coughs> Len Wayne, Marv Wolfman, Dick Giordano, Jay Rosenberger. Get the Zatanna story. Got these model kits. They were from Mount Clemens. They made cereals and they made model kits. And Jeff is sniffing something. He's down there sniffing, uh, sniffing something. Bear watch there, buddy. 
getting in somebody's uh get somebody's lab you might be sniffing yourself some extra extra good meth there and he must because look what he sees that stuff works fast and that guy is tripping out big time Satana uses a big sweeper to sweep them up. Here we got Jimmy Olsen. Jimmy's galling up money and uh, become the. He loses his sense over the richest girl in the world. And then Jimmy becomes Olsen the Red, last of the Vikings. There you go, David Michelini again. Now, David now lives in Indiana. Before, there was another letter from him. He was in Kentucky at that time. So he's moving up in the world. But uh, David, of course, became the writer for Amazing Spider-Man and many other Marvel comics and for some DC comics. But this was back when he was just a fan, just like the rest of us. Got Supergirl number two. A great cover there. Almost face looks very George Tuska-ish. I know it's not George, but uh, very, very great picture there. There she is. She's fingering that, uh, that hole of that bottle, trying to get out that professor. She's sweating. Better, better hurry. Better get him out of that bottle. And there she's with her boyfriend, Jeff. He gets sand in his eyes, and she'll go get him water. And she uses that moment to, to sneak away. Gets this unconscious professor, comes back. And she's putting a smooch on him, and Jeff is all upset. And it looks like he breaks up with her. You, you silly bastard. You're breaking up with that, you silly, silly bastard. And she flies off as Supergirl. Goes back to the professor. Uh... He gets, a, gets a, a hug from her. She goes to the uh, Superman's fortress. Tries to go on the supercomputer. And he's picking up the bottle of Candor. It's like, you know, what, what, you know, those poor people. He picks that bottle up. What are those poor people in that bottle? They're like, holy crap, put us down. He's throwing them around and stuff. What's in this bottle? If you smash it, you'll kill everyone, including my own parents. And they, they zip in, in, into the bottle itself. She goes to visit her parents. Superman's robot computer doesn't make mistakes. As they're flying around, her lesser power is activated by the heavier gravity. A Satan swallow. Grabs her. She's able to get free. Oh, there's a hidden ring. Ring. She found a ring in uh, in that nest. Look, it's hard. His hand is clutching it. She tries to save the professor, and then the professor starts to grow. She has to use her mouth and be a glass blower. She's blowing really hard on that on the uh, on the bottle to get him to get him out, and then she has to use her breath to cool it down. She can reshape it with her with her breath. Got her mail. You got the Shazam is coming to Marvel. You got House of Mystery surprises. Don Heck doing Zatanna. Might be Vinny Coletta inks. It almost sounds like it's raining outside, is it? It is not raining outside, no. It might be just a vehicle I'm hearing. You can tell that he's evil. Look how he's dressed. And that was the end of that story. We got Supergirl number four. I guess some pretty good artwork, but. Looks like she's becoming a monster. She's got great blue eyes. They should have put her back in red stripper boots, though. And you can see the 
see a little bit of butt cheek there on Supergirl. So the artists are getting a little, they're getting a little bold. She's out having a date. And something happens, she has to run off. And then here she's changing the Supergirl. And you almost have to wonder how the colors that with the shadow and everything that that was supposed to be nude but uh, but it was told no you need to color it yellow and that would have been very bold if that uh, if she would have been nude in that picture um, but they they didn't we didn't we didn't see that maybe they could recolor it in a in a collected edition Let's see if they tell who did the artwork. Yeah, Artie. Now it's Art, but now it's Artie and Vinnie Coletta. He's fighting the man in the iron mask. She has to perform some sort of brain surgery. She's shooting herself in the head. There she is again. She's willing to, to risk it all. Choke David must go as must get well. He must. And she saves him. Her page giants. Satana. Again, you've got Don Heck. I'm not sure why there's no credits on this on this story, but there's no credits as far as who the writer is. Got Supergirl number six. Man, she's always smooching with somebody. Looks like she's got little furry, furry uh, balls, uh, little little furry things on her uh, on her shorts there. S Supergirl stolen kisses will cost lives. She's with a, a gang member. She's willing to go go as far as it as far as she can to help stop crime. There she is. There she, there's a broken gas connection. She sucks it out with her super lungs. This guy's making sure as Super Supergirl flies away that he's he's gonna let her know know about the business. Oh, Ricky, man, look at Ricky! Look at the lovebirds! You go, Ricky! You go! You go, man! You see the cape here? It's not colored properly. You see it drops down, but you don't see the cape being down here being reflected. Perhaps because the artist didn't draw the cape on the other side that the colors just didn't pay attention. Here's something I'm surprised they didn't do more of. This is Melba uh, um, Manton that uh, I believe she showed up in Lois Lane. She's a new reporter. They only showed her a few times. DC needs to bring this character back. She was ahead of her time. DC was certainly uh, was uh, thinking outward and need to need to do more with this character. DC, you have completely forgotten all about Melba. Issue number seven, first time Supergirl and Satana has ever met. They're fighting over the Sinister Snowman. Because, you know, look at him. I know why they're fighting over him. It's like Andre the Giant. He got lots of women. He's got Tony Martin. 
somebody that he res she rescued once. That means she's holding a, uh, she's holding a, uh, she thinks about him often. You got Zatanna. Cavemen, frozen cavemen, that they come out of being frozen, and man, they're right. There's no stiffness or anything. She's got her escorts that she's going to soak her escorts. There she is. She's soaking them. They're soaking wet now. A giant ice, eagle of ice, but uh, it's got Zatanna, and Zatanna's not trying to get free. She can't stop her teeth, teeth from chattering to say a magic command allowed. You can't be searching for him. That's my job. There's the, there's the, the abominable snowman. But they just uh, end up messing with each other. Tony. They found Tony. As long as Tony was found. You got a Jack Kirby cover there on that Black Magic. I think I might have a copy around here someplace. It isn't Tony. Oh my God. They were tricked. She would never understand men. Again, the different letters. You know, unfortunately, there's no no one of 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 any great importance with those letters. There, she turns into a Medusa. And Artie still is doing the artwork, but he's back to just to be an art. Trying to, trying to kiss and she just can't. Man. I think he's about to kiss me. Damn. He's like, damn. You can buy yourself some sea monkeys. And there you see that she's got the Medusa head. Got some of the Justice League members. They had to go after her, and they get turned to stone. How sad for young love. Six LPs or five tapes, now are 99 cents. It's great behind the scenes. There's some Dave Cockrum artwork. She eventually gets, gets free and gets her hair back. And the last issue I have here of Supergirl number nine. Again, fighting these green skinned monsters. She got different boots on. She was the Super Amazon. Her old bo boyfriend, Dale. Oh, she's crying. She can't think straight. She needs to go out and just be wild for a night. Gives you, let you know where you can find Superman. Shows up on Amazon Island. And becomes a honorary Amazon. Got this great Pirates of the Caribbean model kits that you used to be able to buy. House of Mystery. Show a couple of 100 page spectaculars. 
can see that there was some damage done to that. But that's it as far as these. If you like these videos, certainly subscribe. And when you subscribe, certainly smash that bell for notifications. Thanks.